Currently we are on our way to the Stickney Salvation Army. My name is Emily, local thrift shopper. I recently found this one. I mean, I've pretty much checked out all the different Goodwills and like the antique mall and like a bunch of Salvation Armies in Michigan when I went to school there. And I found the Stickney Salvation Army recently by recommendation of my friend Celia. And it is huge. And it actually full of a lot of really good stuff. Right, these change. You guys wanna look for like the 50% off. Man, you can get a lot of stuff. And that safari shirt that I found is 99 cents. If I get something, it has to replace another piece that I have. I don't need like four safari shirts. Let's uh, put it back with the other Carol Baskins. <sighs> Emily, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. How did you get into thrifting? I started thrift shopping, honestly, the first time when I was in fifth grade. We took a family vacation to um, Arizona for our family wedding, uh, and we didn't realize how cold it got at night. So we went to the thrift store because we didn't want to spend a bunch of money, and I remember getting a Roxy hoodie that I fell in love with. I thought it was so cool, and I got it for like $2. And all of a sudden, it sparked this big fascination with thrift shopping. And we came back home, and that's pretty much the only place I wanted to shop. <laughs> so now that you're shopping in Toledo, what are some of those do's and don'ts that you look for when you're on a thrifting shopping spree? So a big don't for sure is uh, I never buy underwear from the thrift store or like sports bras. Big don't. Pretty much can, can justify any other item. Um, I try not to buy polyester. I think just in general, whenever I buy, I buy clothes, I try to buy 100% cotton, but sometimes there are pieces that like the pattern is just way too good. You have to do it. Polynosic rayon, time to Google. Personally, anything that needs dry cleaned, is, it just makes it difficult to wash and I'm kind of lazy. So <laughs> yeah, everything else I think is fair game. Okay, so there's too much gray in the world. That's my personal opinion. And so I started dyeing, like using clothing dye and uh, dyeing all my gray clothing. So like if I couldn't get this stain out, I could like, I don't know, get pink and dye this pink. It might turn the teal a weird color, but, or you can tie dye it, or I mean, you can turn it into other things and it still has worth. And then why do you think thrifting, it's kind of grown in popularity lately, I think especially for the younger generation, why do you think that? I think a lot of people are getting disenchanted with places like Forever 21, and uh, it, it, you just get to the point, like me personally at least, when you walk around and you see other people wearing the same clothes as you, it's no fun. Everybody wants to feel like unique and like you found a treasure. Um, try to be very eco-friendly and uh, sustainable. So that's also a big driver for me. I'm, and I, I love it that all like the younger generation is into kind of like the grandpa vibes for lack of a better word, or like 90s style is back in and where else are you gonna get that except the thrift store? This one I actually really like. Probably turn it into a crop top or tuck it in to wear it like a crop top. Looks okay long, but I'd probably wear it like that. And besides thrifting, let's talk about your jeans. You're also artistic as well, too. Kind of tell us about that. Um, so I actually got these jeans at the thrift store probably 10 years ago. I keep my clothing for a really long time. And when it gets to a point where I'm ready to get rid of it or I'm sick of it, I try to either paint it, dye it, embroider it, cut it, and then it gives it new life and I keep it for another 10 years. And that's kind of what happened with these jeans. And now they're like one of my, I mean, I get a lot of hype over these jeans. So now like, these 10, 10 year old jeans got some new life. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen edition of Thrifting Adventures. My sister and I recently moved into an apartment um, last July and I really did not want to buy a brand new dish set specifically. That's kind of what kickstarted it. And if you go to any thrift store, you go to like the home goods aisles and stuff like that, you can get full sets of dishes. Pretty much great condition. You can get so many mugs. I don't know how we all end up having so many mugs in our homes, but the thrift store is 
that's where all the mugs go. So I don't think I will ever buy a brand new mug. Glassware, especially being in the glass city, you can get so much glassware at the thrift store. We have a whole cocktail glass set, wine glasses. You don't need to buy all that stuff new at all. Now we're gonna be hanging out with our friend Allison, owner of House of Dow. So tell us exactly what we're gonna be looking for, what pieces that we're gonna be looking for in this shop. House of Dow is really good at vintage clothing um, and like really fun patterns. She curates such cool stuff in there. I actually, I wore a pair of House of Dow earrings. They're little, little sunglasses, very fun. Yeah, I think when you go in there, you're just ready to have fun. It's unique, fun pieces that you won't find anywhere else. Hi, I'm Allison Dow and I'm the owner of House of Dow. Um, we started out selling online. Uh, I used to sell vintage clothes out of my house and post online and people would come in and try stuff on, but I really wanted to have a bigger experience. So um, I got some friends together to help me and we worked on a business plan and bringing the idea into real life. Um, we always tell people we're looking for the most standout, unusual items. Uh, sometimes we call it key pieces. You know, DJ Khaled has his another one. Well, we have our key pieces. Is it a key piece? Is it going to stand out? Is someone going to ask you, hey, where'd you get that? House of Dow. Our biggest business is our clothing and it represents us, so we want to stand out and be exciting because we know people don't want to look the same as everybody else. My favorite part of being the owner is that I get first dibs on everything. People will often say, oh, I bet you love working here because you get to pick out what you want. I am the main buyer for the store, so technically I've bought everything in the store. It really feeds my shopping addiction to be able to go out and buy lots of weird different stuff that I'm never going to wear or use, but I know somebody else is. That's a good find. Very oh. 70s. I love it. And it's not all clothing in here. You have a lot of other fun, like knickknacks and pieces kind of go into what you offer here. House of Dow is really a little bit of everything because I like all weird vintage stuff. So um, everything you see in our shop is the same kind of stuff you find in our house. We love vintage toys, posters and art, all kinds of knickknacks. Whenever we find things that have a little bit of local history, we love that too. So it's a little bit of everything, not just clothes. Okay, I'm wearing oh. this jacket. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, right? A little bomber jacket. I like so it with the all black. Yeah, I know. It's pretty chic. These are good for like, even though it's gonna be summer, but it's still gets chilly in summer when you're out like at night and campfires. So it's very cute. So cute. Good floral. Yeah. You can never go wrong with floral. Now, if anyone has any questions or wants to learn more about you, where can they find you? Yeah, for sure. Um, I have a thrift account that I started on Instagram called Thrift Magician. My normal Instagram account, Emily Mitchie. Um, I had so much fun. Thank you guys so much for doing this. Yeah. Great shopping. And a special shout out to House of Dow for letting us come and try on all of their fun pieces. This is like when you see your neighbors walking at like eight in the morning, they're always wearing this kind of coat. Yeah, this was my neighbor, Carl. He used to take his schnauzer out on a walk every single morning. Ooh, we have an addition to the story. Recently I was told that skinny jeans are out. Also the laugh cry emoji is also out. Now you have to use the skull when you want to say you're laughing with an emoji. Now I'm just talking to you. That's just a fun fact for you, Tim.